Today's creature of the day is the Gastornis. Its name means Gaston's bird in honor of Gaston Plante, a French physician who discovered the first fossil. Gastornis was quite a successful bird living all throughout the northern hemisphere. It's been found in China, France, Germany, Belgium, England, Canada, and the U.S., specifically Wyoming, Washington State, New Mexico, and New Jersey. It lived from the mid-Paleocene to the mid-Eocene around 55 to 40 million years ago. It grew up to 2.2 meters, or 7.2 feet tall, and weighed up to 550 pounds, or 250 kilograms. This is what we first thought Gastornis was like, a fierce carnivore related to the terror birds. But we now know it ate plants instead. Its huge head, supported by a thick neck, had a beak originally thought to consume animals and crush bone. We now know it was used to crush fruits and nuts instead. It also ate seeds and maybe even freshwater plants. Instead of being related to terror birds, we now know it was closer to ducks, swans, and geese. For a while, it was living large, literally, as it was the largest animal in its environment. But as bigger mammals evolved, they gave the big bird competition. Another weakness of this beast was its slow reproductive rate. They only laid one egg per season. Huge disadvantage. Described in 1855 by Edmund Hebert, there are seven known species, the type species being Gastornis parisiensis. The species found in North America were originally described as their own genus, Diatrima. However, Diatrima has since been described as a North American species of Gastornis. It has some fun media appearances, such as many stop-motion projects, like The Ghost of Slumber Mountain and Age of Mammals. It's also appeared in the documentaries Walking with Beasts and Life After Dinosaurs. You may also spot a Gastornis in the Ice Age movies. In video games, it's appeared in Jurassic World The Game, Feather Family from Roblox, Carnivore's Ice Age, Dinosaur War, and other games. Wait, 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 let me stop you at Dinosaur War. There is no way that is a Gastornis. Okay, so it's called a Gastornis, but it's identified as an Oviraptorosaur. Interesting. One more mention of Gastornis in media that I would like to point out, because it's fun to talk about. A Peanuts comic strip from January 17th, 1964. Have you ever heard of a diatrima? He was a bird who stood seven feet tall and had a head as large as that of a horse. He had a huge, sharp bill and powerful legs with which he could run down small animals. So, the thing about his head being the size of a horse... That was true as of the horses at the time, but now horses are much bigger than that. And, of course, we now know that Gastornis is an herbivore. He's now extinct. In fact, he hasn't been around for 60 billion years. Oh, you're an incorrect man, Charlie Brown. Definitely mixing up billions and millions there. And anyways, last strip, Snoopy says, and we don't miss him a bit. Funny ending line. Well, that was a bird that we misunderstood for quite a while. Anyways, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment what other creatures I should talk about.